Well, good morning. You know, I love these networking cards we used last week, or last month, I guess it was. And so I decided I'm going to use a networking card as a basis for my presentation today. So the first question is, uh, where was I born and where did I come from? And this is uh, me with my uh, daughter and grandson. I was born in Montana and grew up in Wyoming. I went to college in Nebraska, so go Big Red. And uh, came to California in 1964. I've been working for the cemetery for over 12 years, and before that I did income taxes. So I like death and, ta death and, death and taxes. I guess I'm always <laughs> like sure things, you know. <laughs> well, I think the most important question on that card was what, uh, what makes us uh, different from our competition? Or how do we stand up for our competition? And, and uh, first I wanna say that we're a not-for-profit cemetery, which is unusual, and we've been around since 1985. So we've been around for quite a while. And we do have two locations now, the one, original one on Franklin Avenue, we also have it on Shiloh Road in uh, Windsor. This is our first mausoleum. We have five mausoleums on our uh, property for above ground um, uh, casket burial. Secondly, unlike some mortuaries that send bodies to somewhere in the Bay Area to be cremated, we have a state-of-the-art uh, crematorium on, on site in uh, Santa Rosa. And lastly, when we opened Santa Rosa Mortuary in 2003, we became a full-service business with all services available under the umbrella of Santa Rosa Memorial Park and Mortuary. We purchased Egan and Lance Mortuary and then Fred Young Mortuary, and we recently opened an office in Rona Park. So it's fair to say that we were able to service everyone in Sonoma County along the 101 corridor. Well, you know, we were established in 1985, but I think we stay up with the times. For instance, we offer green burials, uh, biodegradable caskets. We have these bronze butterflies that are really quite awesome. And uh, uh, this is a very interesting uh, unit, too. You've got QR codes that actually can be placed on markers. And, and uh, imagine that you can go by with your, uh, with your smartphone and, and learn everything about the person uh, underneath you. They can do, exactly. So we have many options for uh, permanent memorialization. I'm really proud of the fact that we have uh, four lawns dedicated to our veterans. This is our uh, POW MIA monument that was dedicated a couple years ago. We're really proud of that too. And over 25 uh, lawns between the two uh, areas for, um, uh, for a casket area. This is our newest lawn uh, under the Heritage Oak and this is a beautiful lawn. This is the only one where, uh, that allows upright markers. We've had a lot of people in the past asking for that, so we dedicated a lawn, especially for uprights. And you can even have a private mausoleum in our lawn. As a matter of fact, I have a special right now for only one, under $1 million, I can get you a family mausoleum, so just give me a call afterwards. <laughs> I'll, I'll set you up. Cremation is becoming very popular, I'm sure you're aware of, and we do have uh, several options for cremated remains. We have urn gardens for just burying, uh, burying urns, and just like a casket. And then we have above ground column burials. This is my favorite above ground one with the angel protecting everybody under. Uh, uh, that's one of the things that comes with it. But my favorite are the glass fronted niches. A lot of people don't know about this, but this is inside the mausoleum. And the nice thing about that is you can really tell the story about somebody's life. It's not just a, a name on a wall. Put up nice pictures, mementos, nice urns. It's really a nice. And we also have. Uh, Scattering Gardens, this is our Rose Garden. And we have a second location in uh, Sh Shallow Road in Windsor. This is uh, Oak Lawn, and we have several uh, columbariums for cremated remains there also. So the last question on the card is what's a great referral for me? And basically, it's anybody that's still alive and hasn't already made their plans, that's a great referral. <laughs> Once they die, it's not a very good referral for me, because I just do before the counseling. Um, so basically, I'm an uh, advanced planning counselor for Santa Rosa Memorial Park and Mortuary. Like I said, I love what I do because I know that when I help people make advanced plans, it's going to be easier on their loved ones when that fateful day arrives. So instead of panic and stress, the family has a peace of mind knowing that their loved one made all the hard decisions for them and the family knows exactly what they wanted for their final arrangements. So when a widow or a widower comes up to me and thanks me for having helped them make their plans ahead of time and tells me they couldn't imagine having to do this by themselves when their spouse passed, and I know that I've done a 
a good job. And anytime you call me so I can help one of your clients to make their advanced plans, you're doing a good deed, just like the scouts that put up all these flags on Memorial Day. Thank you.